Alright, so how's it going everybody? Hope you're all doing well and great. I'm pressing that like button because that helps me out a ton. And today we are looking at the Intel Core i9-3900 League Gaming Benchmarks and the CPU Intensive Benchmarks compared to the Intel Core i9-12900K. The Intel i9-13900 the engineering sample is supposed to have 16 cores or I believe 16 cores that don't allow hyper threading and 8 cores that do which ultimately will lead in all the way to 32 threads. So this is like a 32 threaded CPU basically. Now these CPUs, the 13900, the engineering sample and the 12900K were tested in the Z690 platform and it was paired with a DDR5 5200 MHz RAM and an RTX 3090 GPU. Now there hasn't been a proper BIOS available for these Intel i9-3900 so when these CPUs launch and the BIOS have the full optimization for these CPUs, I believe that the, at that time we will have an even faster performance. While the Intel i9-12900K wasn't overclocked any, by any means, so it kind of feels like an apples to apples comparison. And in the CPU intensive benchmarks, we were looking at around 20 to 25% difference in performance, as you can see right now. Like, for example, at 7 zip, we're looking at even 35. So, yeah, these CPU intensive benchmarks are mostly focused on being, you know, that. The difference in the cores and threads is really noticeable there we're looking at around i believe eight threads or something like that so it's a really good upgrade basically when you compare it to the 12900k if you are into the cpu intensive tasks now when it comes to the single core performance or the ipc in terms of the score the 13900 was slower than the 12900k actually but this is because the 12900k has an optimized bios and a higher tdp limit when you compare it to the 13900 because this is a 65 watt cpu and there is no any type of like a b clock or base clock overclocking or anything of that sort but in gaming benchmarks we are looking at the gaming benchmarks and both cpus they are fixed at 3.8 gigahertz we don't see any difference at all like the biggest difference is in a game called guardians of the galaxy and we're looking at a 15 frame rate difference which is like 8 to 10 percent but other than that all the C get other games like we were looking at pretty much the same identical fps while the 12900k being the superior one and keep in mind these are not an overclocked 12900k results so overall i don't have a lot to say about these cpus but hopefully these cpus will bring out better performance because they will this is still an engineering sample so we're yet to see and as you can see from the benchmarks right now it seems to be pretty promising and the fact that you can get a cpu for around 400 dollars that has 32 threads from intel is a like a great 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 thing especially when we're looking at the ryzen counterpart the highest end cpu is i think i believe a 16 core cpu and this will cost around 900 dollars so yeah it's kind of like an optimistic view at what intel can provide or would provide in the future versus amd basically intel seems to be competing with themselves in terms of value for money and cpu cores and threads but we're yet to see so yeah that's been it guys if you like that video press on that like button if you want to see more videos of that kind subscribe see you in the next one peace